Oi, hello, and thank you for taking these three little minutes of your already full scheduled time to be here with me as I share with you my strategy for harvesting something wonderful this month of November and hopefully inspire in you your own strategy. For surely, I'm sh you must agree that for a month as big as this one, a strategy is needed. On the one end of the scale, we not only have the intense friction of this election, but also the sad reality that COVID is again spreading like wildfire. On the other end of the same scale, a tremendous reminder to practice gratitude. Thanksgiving, after all, is also here. So with hardship on one end and joy on the other, how do I, how do you get the scale to swing more gently? Well, I'm heading in the direction of trimming down the excess of emotions and the reactivity naturally triggered during erratic times such as the ones we're living in now. To focus on resilience is my current strategy for letting the excess dissolve back to where it came. Let me give you an example of how this is playing out for me. The other morning, a tired, heavy, and moody cloud came overhanging. And so I contemplated on what resilience means to me and how I may use it to help me let go of unwelcome mental discomfort occupying my attention. While on my little search to restore balance, the following experiment popped up. Each time I'd catch the tendency to be judgmental, I put on the resilience into practice. And it wasn't long before I could see the judge in me wearing her robe. So I made some adjustments to my morning so I could be more attentive to that inner dialogue. I particularly listened with kind and curious ears. With a bit more sturdiness here and a bit more flexibility there, little by little, a little new level of discernment accompanied by a sense of clear sky were being regained. Whether I am bringing my attention to resilience by recycling judgment for discernment, or I'm bringing my focus to gratitude simply, to have a simple practice to go to helps my scale swing more gently. And what about you? What is your strategy for something wonderful this November? I'd love to hear it.